welcome to another edition of the Ultra Distance Runner channel. And my plan today is to run from Lewis Railway Station, which is just down there, and then head about 13, 14 miles to Burgess Hill Railway Station. Um, so all of that is going to be on, for me, brand new trails. So I'm really looking forward to it. And of course, I'm going to take you with me along the way. If you've ever been to um, Lewis before, it's very twisty, turny, and hilly. I've had to tiny little roads, and even don't really have pavements. But it's so pretty. If you're ever kind of in the south of England, like visiting Brighton or something like that, come and check Lewis out. Because it really is a very, very beautiful part of the world. We're ready kind of on the outskirts. I'm already kind of hitting these water features here. It's beautiful. So yeah, this is new territory for me. I've never been here before. I just came across that little guy and he was standing there dead still and I thought it was a statue. But it's actually... So I can tell this is going to be one of those types of runs where I'm just going to not want to put the camera down because it's just so damn pretty. Moved away from the river, we're uh, 3k in, but we're now kind of going through this little village. It's beautiful, look at it. Wow, look at that. So I almost got run over earlier on, around a blind corner, so I've got to be careful. Nice little breeze has picked up today, so it's nice. This is nice, I'm enjoying this. Okay, so the first field of the day, and what a pretty one. Pretty bunny. So you know, I kind of feel sorry for a lot of people because you know the English countryside is a beautiful, a beautiful place. It truly is. And most people never get to experience this kind of thing in their lifetime. I mean look at it. It's just stunning. I know it's not mountains, but it's gorgeous. Right. Yeah. Nearly 6k in. I'm really enjoying this. I'm just enjoying being out. I think that's what it's all about. <laughs> I'm a poet. Okay, so I've just entered into this nice little wooded section. It's nice to get out of the sun. So near enough 80 degrees today. So far, I'm really enjoying this. Don't want to hang around here too long because of the mosquitoes, but that's a strange little carved 
Well, it looks like it's carved. I don't know, interesting. It was all going well up until this point. I've had to run around one field to get to here. And now I'm gonna to have to run around this other field that I'm on. So we managed to get through that little section unscathed and popped out onto this road. It's pretty. Oh, it's hot though. It is hot. Okay, so we are 11 and a half K in. I really am feeling the heat today. I um, don't normally feel it that bad, but for some reason, it's just, I think it's hot and humid. Okay, so just dropped out of that wooded section and onto this lovely little path. Beautiful. You're never really that far away from another human down in the south here. But yeah, I'm enjoying this, I really am. I'll tell you what, this really is the run that just keeps on giving today. I just ran, I just came out of the wood into a little road with like a couple of council houses and a flat and it just looks really pretty. I just thought, wow, I bet that's an affordable place to live as well, right out in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, so we are nearly 16k in already, which means I've got less than, I've probably got about 10k left to go. So. Only a K on from when I was last uh, chatting to you. Look at this lovely red, kind of red feel about it. And loads of sheepy weepies in front of me. Uh. <laughs> Morning sheep. Oh, that one was having a bath. Oh, there's just so many different things I've run through today. Woods and, oh, it's just been a lovely, lovely run so far. I'm turning right here. So straight out of the woods behind me and onto yet another field. That's where I'm heading. So it's just had everything this run. It really has. It's had woods, forests, fields, little bits of kind of neighbourhoods. Oh, it's been great. I'm wearing the Lone Peaks today. So the last kind of 15, 20 minutes or so, I've been crossing loads of these, like one after the other.
can't be too far from where I need to be. Hello, mate. Oh, it's good to see another runner. So I know that I'm on an area that people run. I can't believe this. I'm so close to where I need to be. take a massive detour that path I just couldn't get through it I literally couldn't get through it so I'm absolutely stunted buggery stinging nettles so I had to make a massive detour so I had to hack my way around through some woods and then again I've had to use my navigational skills to get me here back on track once again uh, so what was supposed to be a 25, 26k run probably is going to be closer to 28, 29 by the time I get to Burgess Hill Railway Station. I've had it all today. I come out on a path, it's all been blocked off and there's workers on it. It's the only path that I know to get me back into Burgess Hill, which is where I now am. And it was all blocked off. So, I had to take another detour. Oh, good Lord. Burgess Hill really is the arse end of the universe, I'm sorry. The first 20k of this run, or kind of 18k, was fine. And then you kind of get into Burgess Hill territory and everything just turns to shit. Um, anyway, I'm here now, almost. Just uh, last few k. To get to the railway station it's going to be closer to 30k than it is to 26 but uh we're nearly there we're nearly there 